to Spicy Cat Colors. My name is Kathy. You're looking at this lovely blotter sheet that's been getting some use. I am here. It's not the end of April yet, right? I know we're past the middle, but it is my haul for March. Um, I have started doing, which many people out here do, is a um, just one haul at the end of the month. So this is my March supplies and book haul. Considering I'm still trying to be low spend, I am not succeeding, and I'm so excited I have some Wahoo mail. If you are a seasoned friend from my other channel, you know I call Happy Mail Wahoo mail. So I am going to show it to you. I have a couple things here. Let's put them up. So I had mentioned it was it is still my birthday month. And I just want to share because I am a card maker. FYI, I will put timestamps in the description, jumping to the haul for supplies. I'll do supplies first and then the books if you want to fast forward this. So I make cards and I have card making friends. And two of them sent me absolutely lovely cards. I might still show. I'm going on a retreat at the end of the month, but okay. That's for a chat video. Now we're just showing stuff. So my beautiful friend Sherry made me this. And look, okay, how cool. It doesn't say anything personal. Okay, so she knows I'm a butterfly girl. And then look when you open it up. How cool is that? So beautiful. I don't know if she even knows I watch or she watch. Or I don't know if she watches me here, but Sherry, I love this. I will send her a personal note. And she stamped on the envelope. And another friend sent me a handmade card. And it's got a little gnome girl. Isn't that cute? So this does tie in because I have been a card maker and scrapbooker for like 20 years almost. So my coloring I did primarily like this on little miniature cards. And then once the... Um, I mean, adult coloring, it's always been there, but once there's a lot more illustrators and um, artists came out, I got back into that as well. So this is the type of thing I still like to do. And this is from, then on the inside, I'd wish a little ladybug. And she has this. And this is why we love handmade things. She um, obviously had her, <laughs> this piece of cardstock down when she was sponging. <laughs> Anyway, it's what makes things unique. But this is my friend Jane. I'm actually going to spend a week with her very soon on a crafty getaway. So those were fun. And then my beautiful friend Cassie, I had sent some fun stuff to her. Oh, I don't want to show her address. Her and her children, a little crafting care package. And look, I have to show you all the things she sent. So she made me this beautiful card. And inside, I'm going to hide this because it's all a personal note, but isn't this cute? I love it. And then, so I sent some coloring books and supplies, and her kids were so nice. Look at this one. Cassie did this one using, I sent a bunch of just like ballpoint ink pens and I cannot believe you colored this whole thing with ink ping pen but you are amazing and look it's inspired by the lovely she who will not be named because she will be showing up sooner or later so I love this and I love the texture it got in the um because of the pens so that was pretty cool and then look at this one this is from Amy and I love they all signed their names They're folded nicely here, I'm trying to. And it's a catacorn, a pretty cool catacorn, if you ask me. And it's from Catherine. I love this. Oh my gosh, I had that pick. <laughs> and I got two here from Andalyn. Stamp one. And Spike the Dragon. Oops, got a little blurry there, sorry. I like the color choices. Purple, favorite. And this, I had found this book 
And it just because of the way it got folded, <laughs> kind of the eyeballs popped out here. It was these animals, and then it was like you could make their own face with stickers. So it was just like this animal in the back, and you could add all your stickers to it. So they sent me another cat and another drawing <laughs> for me. Andy, is that? Oh, Andalyn. Do you call her Andy? Anyway, to Kathy and the fur herd. And this one is from the little boy with all the sisters, Kalen, age two. So this made me so happy. You guys have no idea. Oops, I just flicked an eyeball off. I will fix that. So thank you, Cassie and crew. You guys made my day. It made me so happy to send you a little surprise package. And then, oh, and then do you think she heard her name? She's like, there was something for me. I heard my name. Well, I have everything right in where she could sit. So this is the only spot for her to sit. So I think I need to readjust so we can make a space for the diva because... Yeah, there's not any space right now. <laughs> and then I can um, continue the haul. She wants to climb in the basket. Okay, I'm going to pause you. Okay, I had to put the books here. <laughs> She's still going to, like, try and claim. Can you see how cute she is? Oh, sorry. <laughs> the light. Yeah, that cute little face. Okay, well, I'm going to move a little bit of these, Gabby. This is a little sneak peek. We're still on Wahoo Mail, but, um, so this came in the mail, not the blotter sheet. And I have to show you this. Now, my address is in my description box, so that's not a surprise, and I covered up the return address of my friend. So, because I absolutely love how she decorated the envelope. Okay, obviously I can't pause. Not sure how this is going to work. It's going to be a hodgepodge. Eddie, my husband, was calling. So, I, <laughs> I had it so it didn't ring, but I'm like, what is that thing? Okay, yes, Daddy's on his way home, Gabby, so we have to film fast. So, I love how she did this. So, her name is Wendy. Hopefully it's okay if I say your first name, Wendy. And she has one of the best jobs, I think, because she works at a library. And she and I became friends through social media. I don't remember exactly how we found each other. I think maybe she found me through my videos and we just started chatting. But I love how she put a page on the front and whether she was recycling or not. I just love that. A page from a book. Interestingly, it's a book called, a story called The Vaccine. And the kitty washi is adorable. And then let's open it up. I opened this in the post office with my friend Kim. And I haven't looked at it since. Okay. She sent me a coloring book. And it is adorable. And she sent me a personal note. Um, oh. Okay, sorry. I had to reread it quick. Okay. So, first of all, look at this amazing paperclip that so many of us would love. It's a book. Yeah, and we know someone who would love it, don't we? Her. Ow! <laughs> I tell you, Gabby has claws. Okay. Not getting... Oh, I just, I'm like, what is that shadow? Oh, it's her fur. Okay, it's her foot. Okay. So look at this super cool paper clip. And she even said, she goes, it's a coveted one, so <laughs> guard it with your life. And then this is the book she got me. Mer World Problems. Here it is. The artist Theo Nicole Lawrence, author of Unicorns Are Jerks. She also tucked in. <laughs> okay, we'll look at the book in a second. Look at these super cute stickers. Tacos. Heck yeah, look at that happy taco. Oh, someday I will talk about tattoos and we will talk more tacos. And look at these. Yes, anybody that knows me from the scavenger hunt knows I needed some otters. <laughs> I'm going to clip these together with her note and put it to the side. 
So Gabriella can't get it. So I was looking through this and I was just chuckling. I thought it was hilarious. I don't know that I've ever seen anybody on ColorTube have this. So I don't, I may do a flip through. Um, probably later I'll do a flip through. But I'm going to just show you some of them. And <laughs> here we go. Because I'm also a Disney fan. Mer world problems. Low flying seagulls can interrupt dramatic moments. Um, great bold lines. Here we go. Mer kids never get snow days. I love that there's boys and girls. Very nice. <laughs> Barnacles always show up right before a first date. So thank you, Wendy. I love this. I am going to color one this month. I just have to pick a page so watch I will do a flip through at a later date for um, this book because I just think it's interesting and I want to see if other people have that artist okay now I got to move the books the rest of the books because we need to do supplies first Gabby you'd think she'd be a better director by now but she doesn't quite know how this all works so, supply-wise, I shopped at, I went to Michael's, I went to Hobby Lobby, um, got a couple things at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General, Amazon, the normal. So the first thing I'm going to show you so I can fill it up is you probably can't even see it because it's just a big old basket. I got these from Hobby Lobby. I really like their baskets. Um, Gabby would take this as a, I'll show you some smaller ones, but it's the same style. So this will get filled up. <laughs> I wanted something, I needed something bigger to put like my books that I work on in the month. And um, yeah, so here are an example. I got two of this size. I have another set of these and I have like all my permanent Sharpie markers in one. So I bought two of these. And so that larger one, it looks exactly the same, but larger. So I got two of those for supplies. Look, I have more supplies in them. And I also bought, whoa, I have too many supplies, friends. And I apologize, not organized, obviously. Um, this little bucket too. Not sure yet. I actually think I needed it for some of my markers I leave out. How is it full of cat hair? I don't know, Gabby. How is this full of cat hair? Okay, let's fill this bucket up with some other items I bought. I bought three paints because they were on sale at... Hobby Lobby. Let's zoom you down here. I got two of the Glitterific. This one is Icons Polka Dots and this is Dragonfly Glaze. So when you look at, okay, this one it's missing, but basically it is this, does it tell me what color? Because my color is on the top and it's missing. Oh, I can't find the color, but it's these teal and it's got like glitter suspended in it. And then here, so this one's got the purple hearts in it. And this looks to be like it's going to be a holographic. So that's going to be pretty fun to play with. Okay, Gabs, don't worry. I bought a workable fixative because I want to try what several other people have done where they spray this on a page and then use like your water-based markers, your super tips and the such. So, and it's supposed to help cut down on streaks. So I finally picked that up. This was probably one of the most expensive things I purchased. I found these, I don't remember where, but um, instead of when I don't want a scissor, I needed like a blade. So we got that, needed some more glue stick, actually used up a glue stick. Then I think everything I have is now markers media. Uh, here, let's see if we can adjust a little bit for the Gabriella Queen. Oh, 
Hold on, I'll pause. Okay, found two more things that were not coloring media. Found this at the dollar store. <laughs> Don't know if I it will be that useful, but sometimes I need to zoom in. Yes, Gabby, on um, some details, and my eyes are not as good as they used to be, and I just wanted a little tiny ruler to use, probably for straight edges. Oh, now she'll leave. From Amazon, I got my first set of the Flare Glitter, and these are as amazing as everybody has said. If you ever find these, they're usually like around three or four dollars. Stock up on them. They do take a long time to get here. They come from India. I have been using them. The only bad thing is one came and the um, body of the pen was shattered, so I had to washi tape it so I could keep the ink in there but the cap is still tight so I think it will be fine when I get an empty I will see if I can get it to fit I also like that it has this little um, I mean I can put it in another bag but it's got a resealable bag so those are amazing I picked this set of Tombow markers up um what is that Michaels or Hobby Lobby they were on sale it's the nude set. I have it covered up. Sorry. There. Portrait palette. These have been handy for when I do color by numbers for choosing a skin tone. These I'm happy with. I found these at Dollar General. They were, I don't remember, two, three dollars. And there's 12 pieces in here. I have just been using them for coloring on regular white pages but they um they are really nice this is what they look like it's a glitter gel pen in fact i have been i had them out of this and had them in the bag with the um other set from flare they all fit in here together and then i get rid of that bag found these at a dollar tree they are just says they're glitter gel pens i do love Dollar Tree glitter gel pens, so I thought these colors were kind of fun. You don't always get this pastel color. I haven't tried them yet. I got these. His Artist Loft, I believe that's Hobby Lobby. I don't know. They're a dual sketch marker. Again, just some interesting colors, I thought. It's supposed to be alcohol based. Picked these up because it was, I want to say, $3. Ooh, how do I keep getting fuzzy there um so i love uh, the big intensities and um yeah there's two metallics in here plus six regular colors and yeah it was a good deal dollar general this was just because i couldn't find what i wanted at walmart which was the pastel sharpies so I treated myself to these because I love the silly scent anything and this I had not seen because I don't exclusively shop for this but it's two in one so I don't expect they're gonna last a long time because really this is how much you know <laughs> you have but so one side is grape and one side is lollipop so I thought this would still be fun to color with and in so, a couple other Dollar Tree items. This isn't going to show. So, this is, I see, know a lot of people use the chopping mats, like placemats. Um, this is a placemat. But for in between as um, kind of a blotter and to get your page to have a little bit of um, firmness behind it. So, I bought these. It's a set of two. They're 11 by 14. So the one I am going to cut down to fit like the standard size coloring book and the other one I'm going to leave large and start working on some of my larger coloring books. I have a few, Color Quest, I have a Hatchet Heroes and I thought this would be good. I will still put paper if I need for as a blotter but then to put this behind it to give me something firm. And then, speaking of paper, I finally found, I think this is what she buys, um, Monet Coloring Diva buys this at Dollar Tree every month and uses this as a blotter page. So, these are 60 sheets, 
their kids drawing pad but it is a dollar and that way because if you, this is why I had this here so I was using this doing a couple of mandalas and stuff and if I continue to use this which has happened to me especially if I'm using a wet based medium it has been known to pull the color from my blotter sheet onto the page which is what happened to Monet and why she does this because for a buck she's like every page gets its own new blotter so I finally remembered to look for them and purchase them when I was at the dollar store okay flipsy flopsy this I got at Dollar General it is a I know it's one of these caddies so I wanted it because number one, I needed a place to put my twistables. Oh yeah, this is also a new purchase. <laughs> I plan, I'm gonna just open all of these up and put them in here. So the twistables are all in this bottom section. And it has this section with this tray that comes out. Not sure what I'm gonna use it for. And then this top one I have kind of my current set of water base, some are um, the Michaels brand. I really like their Createology washable markers. Um, actually, even a little better than Super Tips. It's the same nib, but they actually have colors on them. So they are all in here. I have some more, but the, I need to use some up. So I just put all of this little stacking case. Although I have noticed that this lid is not super secure and all of these markers have ended up on the floor before. It happens. Then, okay, pause you one more time. Okay, I needed a new pack of cardstock and this is the cardstock I purchased from Walmart to print out my PDFs. It is the pen and gear. Um, you get 150 sheets, it's 110 pound, it is, this had been printed on it, um, if you can hear, it's pretty thick, and I print my PDFs out on a laser printer, so they do have a smaller pack of this, but I just buy the 150 sheets, so I have a new pack of that, and then this kind of is the crossover between books and or supplies to books, but the books aren't new, but in the month of March, I had all of these bound. So these were PDFs, and I went to an office store, I think it was Office Depot. So I printed them all out on that cardstock, and I've put this in the order of the actual book. So some I've like had print mistakes, so I just used the paper over again and then took it in and had it printed. Like I said, I print them on a laser printer. I've not had any issues. Um, I use alcohol markers primarily, still use a blotter, but um, I'm just so happy to have these bound finally because it's easier to page through and find a page. So the other one I had was Jade Summer Chibi Horror and then I had the Stained Glass Patterns book and same thing. I have some I thought done in here. Oh yeah. Um, had that one bound and this one is I don't know if it's still free on Jade Summer's website, but this is the 100 best, which is basically the cover of a lot of their books. So that was another supply, is what I'm calling, because they just did the binding, and I loved how they did it. I told them I wanted it on the top. Everything was in order. I asked him to put a clear, just like a transparency sheet, and a piece of thicker cardstock at the back and it was like four dollars and ten cents it didn't matter how many pages there were that's just how much it cost to get those so I don't know I mean it kind of depends on your book if um we'll just look at this again uh if it's 
worthwhile to do it that way versus buying the actual book. When you look at it, you still had to pay for the book, which PDFs for Jade Summer, I want to say, are still like $5. Then it was another, we'll say $5 to get it bound. Not to mention I had to buy the cardstock and the printing. So it's up to you. <laughs> I like the style where it is spiral bound on top and I can flip open and color like this. So for me, I prefer this. I'd much rather have this than the coloring book that is not done that way. Okay, so the books I have other than the lovely Wahoo Mail, I already showed you. This was a book outlet haul and I, I don't know, I'm a little underwhelmed, but Maybe I mean they shouldn't have shopped. So this I thought was fun. This isn't a book, but it was oh, so sorry. These it is 25 Christmas cards. And I had picked up color and Christmas cards a couple years ago from Michaels and colored them all and sent them. I thought they were fun. So this is what we get. It looks to be an assortment. I don't know if there's repeats or not. Maybe not, but it's a little different. I mean, it's already a colored background. It's very, very thin, and they all say Happy New Year in the inside. Happy New Year. It's got a cute little image there. So whether I actually just color these and cut them apart for a different project in like some art journaling, um, or I color them and mail them out. It just will be obviously if you color with marker this is so thin even water-based i'm pretty sure is going to soak through um but maybe i'll just sit with crayons and color them a bunch or i'll just send it out this way so the recipient can color it there are choices so that was a from book outlet but not a book these i am actually excited about because i like little mini things that fit in purses and on the go not that I go anywhere between work and home, but these are both from Barron's. They had another one that, the, I don't remember the topic, but it wasn't a subject I was interested in. So it's Enchanting Mandalas and Sea of Flowers Mini Pads to Color. Don't know, oh, there's 40 illustrations. And they are, um, in like your notebook style so it's glued on the top here and they can be torn out so it's like just tear out a page and color it so you're just doing the fast flip some wallpapery type repeating patterns um i still think it's pretty fun it's all flowers in this one so that was interesting here are the other ones it has I don't know if that's the one they had or not, but it was obviously if I bought it from Book Outlet, it was a good price. I will link um, Book Outlet below as well as if I can find these on Amazon. I don't know if they're still available at Book Outlet, but here's the Mandela one. The only problem is I think once I start getting into these, once I open and kind of break where the seal is, even if I don't tear them out, they may start to fall out, but that's okay. I don't think this is something I want to like, you know, complete the book. Here is a new book, Colors of Faith, Lisa Joy Sampson, an inspirational coloring book. Could probably even color the background. Um, these are, I'm not even sure how to say. So, it must, if it's seasonal, it's like there's months, which is kind of cool. And then over here, there is a Bible verse, kind of small, not super detailed. Um, what do we have beside the months? Then seasons and just like stained glass, I think maybe, and the alphabet, but not in order. Faith. Oh, that's what it's spelling. Faith. Okay. <laughs> so, I mean, it's a good one with lots. Of, I like that it's large areas. I might practice my watercoloring in here because 
I want to start using other media, but I need to practice. So it's not bad. It's just maybe not what I was thinking of. So, but that's okay. I will still actually use that one. Here is the other book I got. Cool and Calm Coloring for Kids Fabulous Animals. This has been out there for a while and I was just trying to spend enough money to get free shipping. Another Baron's book. And these are double-sided. The animals are actually pretty fun. Some of the pages have some pre-colored background. So these could be also really fun to do with watercolor, I think, because I would just color all the way over and not try and do all the futzy details. But, you know, we got all kinds of animals. We got penguins and peacocks, fabulous animals. And another one I wasn't so sure about, but it's not a very thick book. The Coloring Studio Once Upon a Fairy Tale. And this, I think I've seen other people have from this line. And this was why I wanted to try this, because it has lots of pre-colored areas. So overall, through the book, it uses the same color palette. So I'm not sure if I'll find that limiting or I'll enjoy it because I don't have to think as hard. But it was fun. And I wanted to try one of these. So now I have it. Now I need to color in it. This is my second Jane Davenport book that I've purchased there. I hauled the last one, I think it was in my January or February haul. And there, I think there is one more in the series, but that one does not have as much imagery to color. So similar to the last one I showed, there are stickers at the back. There are different papers she has here that you could use. And then she has actual pages where you could color. And this is on different, this is on watercolor paper. So you kind of have an example on the left or inspiration. And then the paper changes. This is more just your white, smooth white paper. Um, and then it has this thinner brown, I'm sure it has a name, paper. But all of those are things you can color and then back to some white. So I love her artwork. I love her products. Um, I have her pastels on my wish list. Someday I'm just going to bite it and buy them. But I thought this was another fun book. So it's kind of, you know, it's your, an art journal. Do with what you want. Craft paper. That's what we had. So it's got coloring paper, craft paper, mixed media, watercolor, collage, and a sticker sheet. So that was fun. And the last book, again, it's a big one. It will show it to you this way. Is interesting. And I think it will be best for like art journaling of some sort for maybe backgrounds. So it's what's hiding here, and it says find the detail that's hiding different in each photo. So you open this up, and it's like this beautiful image, but there's something hiding in the image. And I'm not sure. It gives you a clue. Oh, okay. So like here, this one. So it's showing all these doors. And then right here, the clue is international mail. So what's, this one's kind of obvious to me. This is a postal box, I believe, over UK, Europe. That's a post box, mailbox amid all the doors. So that one kind of was easy, but wouldn't this be fun to like cut apart and like those of you the glue book and such. And like here, I'm going to have to look for a while. The clue says, open your eye. So does that mean there's an eyeball hiding? Oh, there is. I found it. <laughs> there it is right there. See the little eyeball right here. <laughs> so Kind of, I mean, maybe even fun for, I mean, anyone that's kind of like the look and find. And I'm pretty sure there is an answer key 
in the back of the book. But the pages are beautiful pictures. So, not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but the price was right, and I bought it. So there you go, friends. That is everything in this hodgepodge haul. I am going to insert a clip right now, since I have to edit this on my computer anyway, um, where I picked the winner from my hidden giveaway last month. Um, that is not something I do every month, but it is something I like to sprinkle in my videos. So if you are a seasoned friend, you may see me pop something up in the middle of something or at the end of a video as a giveaway. So I already mailed that off and she should have received it, but here's who won. Okay, congratulations again, Kathy, and thank you for um, being a wonderful friend out here. And on Instagram, we are currently buddy coloring this month, so look forward to seeing what she and I have created. It's a tough one, but I'm excited, but it's a tough one. And um, we'll see that in the, hopefully I'll get it finished. Otherwise, Sorry for the disjointedness of this video. It was a little bit, I know, but it is the way we go. We had a visit from Gabby. That's always fun. Now she's sleeping in her cat tree with her brother. Her other brother is sleeping in daddy's recliner. Another brother is on the ottoman in front of my desk. And, oh, another brother's up on a tree. And the two old girls, the two sisters, I think, are in front of the fireplace. Is that all seven? Are you all accounted for? <laughs> Nobody's on my lap in the minute. So, okay, friends, I'm going to let you go because my husband's on his way home and I want to get this cleared off. And I will talk to you again soon. If nobody has told you lately, remember, you matter. You are amazing. And I am so grateful that you took some time out of your day to spend with me.